Hey guys, Forever Fangirl here, and welcome back to the series where I'm literally in denial of every single death. Every single one. And the list just keeps growing. So today I'm reacting to My Street Season 6 Episode 10. It's a very long one. I've been told that I might need tissues, so I've got that ready. And whilst I've been trying to avoid spoilers as much as I can, and I've been pretty successful, I have seen a few people say that a couple of my theories might have been confirmed. So I guess we'll find out. So without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, Jess here. Hi. Hi. Okay, you win. Oh, starting off with epic music. All right. So what's happening? Mostly quiet here. No. Oh, an Aussie. I told you they would riot. Oh, who the heck is this? Oh, hey there. <laughs> yes, someone who's actually on our side. Yep. Well, bye. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh. Look at that animation. Oh my god. Uh-oh. What the heck is happening? Is this like the room? It does look like it, doesn't it? So I think from the looks of it, this is the Celestial Cannon. Well, they wasted no time getting everyone to work. You won't be able to focus the cannon. Okay. What about its ability to collect? Ah, that system. Collect. It looks fine. Good. None of the other rooms matter. How's the prototype room? The one hey. on the old manor. Oh! It's in the middle of the cannon. It hasn't received any damage. Oh, oh! Yes, I called it! So technically it's both? So the room was the prototype. Oh, hey Zach, what are you doing? Oh, oh, that's right. Please punch him in the face for me. What does it matter? You were so willing to put Ian in harm's way. I just assumed you felt the same way about your daughter. That's not Ooh. the same. <laughs> so we're saying that Ian is his son. Of one of your children over the other. Yeah. They both matter. Damn. They don't. Wait. First off, congratulations to whoever was theorizing uh, that Ian was Zach's son, because I know that someone mentioned that ages and ages ago in the comments. But does that mean that Ian was basically having feelings for his half-sister. Because that just brings his effed up mentality to an entirely new level. I mean, granted, he didn't know at the time, but like, wow, okay. So who's the mother then? That's that's my next question. Anyway, so Ian is dead too? He was born that way. Speaking like past tense. Suffer so I'm assuming that's why you liked him so that much. he's dead. Such potential. Too bad his ego got away. Mm. Oh, don't say she that to a father. To die. No, she didn't. <laughs> Zach, what the heck? You forget your place. Ooh. All that you wanted. All that you were willing to sacrifice. What are they trying to achieve, though? So yeah, Ian's dead. That's one death confirmed. Uh, I don't really have remorse for him, though. Uh, sorry, Ian, but you were a bastard. Derek and the old man. Oh, so yes, Derek's sir. still alive, and I so is Holla. To see it oh, you're such a bitch. Hey, Aaron. Come on, someone please do something. Oh dear, now we get... <sighs> emotional cutscenes. Come on, Aaron. You can do it. I believe in you. That is a face of defeat. Aaron. Oop. Hey, Irene. Can you hear me? Aaron, talk to Irene. Aaron, Come on. They are going to do something horrible to you. Oh. You cannot stay here. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just remembered that Irene showed up in season four, so this was kind of foreshadowed, wasn't it? He knows who the heck this is. He's met Irene before, that's what I meant to say. But why is the question? Why did she bring him back from the brink of death? What happened to your determination? You told me to accept who I am. What happened to but your they, Undertale spirit? They were right. I am a monster. No, you're not! This doing is was Michael. Of your own. It was Someone Michael. Wanted you to fall. He wanted you to suffer. Mm hmm. It's all my fault. Everything. It's my fault. No, it's not. You have the power to leave Someone this place. give this guy a hug. The power to prevent further destruction. You do, so do something. Come on. I don't want to anymore. But you I have just to. Want to vanish. Aaron. Come on, Aaron. My power is a dying light. On its last breath. Why? You will cease to ever exist again. And a third lifetime will never be possible. What? I just want to die. Third lifetime? So are we saying that Aaron has been is like reincarnated before or something he's been people before like there's the whole concept of past lives in this universe you were her father she needed you she had a life a future <laughs> i couldn't do anything about it it was out of my hands the voice acting is just stellar is this that? season you're blind if you think michael is even more so than usual anything but a hopeless hellhole yeah i don't care Zach, come on, seriously? Everything I want. Seriously? Everything I've dreamt of for years. I'll be so rich that I won't have to lift a finger for the rest of my life. But what is he trying yeah. to do? She wanted you to be there for her big day. Huh? She knew you walked out. And she still wanted you there. That's sweet. <laughs> Please, Zach! I'll do anything you want! Come on, Zach. Wake up. Wake up, Zach. Come on. Please. I'm sorry. <sighs> Come on, Zach. Zach, wait. He doesn't deserve this. Let them take me. Damn right he doesn't. You don't either. I mean, you were a bit of a bastard to Aaron as a child. But, uh, you know, we we've gotten past that. Why do I have all these feelings? <laughs> uh, why? Have I done? Wow. Blaming yourself for things must really run in Aaron's family. Rowan, was I a good dad? Rowan? Oh. Huh? Oh, right. In your opinion, how did I do? So he got caught too. Oh yeah, that's right, he did at one point. Derek, you are one of the best fathers. That I have ever had the grace of Aww. meeting in my lifetime. I temporarily forgot who and Rowan was. He asked me that same question the night before he died. You knew his he was dad? Worried about what would happen to you. Aww. He gave up everything so he could protect you and your brother. And in the end, no, you have a he brother? Just up dead. I'm loving this lore. The night you Oh no! He transformed into that beast. Yeah. As soon as he found out about what happened. What did happen? The guardian forces thought he killed them. Oh. Him for what happened. So. He loved all of you so much. Did Michael kill them and then he went on a rampage? And the guardian forces thought it was him? Everything that I haven't done. You guys need to stop blaming yourself. It's okay. It's all Michael's fault for starters. A bad father. Okay, you weren't the best father at times, but you had good intentions. Aaron. And you've been good recently. Rachel. So. I'm so sorry. We need I to round to everyone up and Aaron. just give them a hug. Is still here and he needs you. Damn right. 
he's not gone yet. And there is still hope. There is always hope. Come on. I give you the gift of Hufflepuff positivity. He has more. Yes. He always has. Come on. Then let's do something about this. Yes. Oop. Looks like it's time. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Zach. You need to do something too. Like, wake up to what's happening, honey. So they've been brought to watch. Michael wants you to witness what happens. Mmm. But that gives you a chance to do something. Yes, come on! I've been trying. It's no use. <sighs> no, 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 no. These aren't ordinary cuffs. Well, then fight with the cuffs. So... What did they do to you? This is the prototype room, right? Lay down! Excuse me? He is not a dog. Well, I mean... You know what I mean. He's he's still... Like, a person. Beautiful, isn't it? I really want to punch you in the face. To see such a beast. Completely so I can't let this happen. Yes, come on, do something. Sir. There has been no sign of the blue sword in question. You scoured the perimeter. I already told you, you are not going to find it here. She already yeah, I was going to say, is that the one that Irene took? What was that stuff on the uh, thing over there? Hey, Zach. You need to do What's something. What's going to do to him? The celestial cat. A device so powerful. Ooh, finally. It can move meteors, comics, anything that threatens our world. Guess who got that right too? It was fueled by the souls of an entire civilization. Oh. However, that fuel can be used on another word. For what? To create objects of absolute power. Oh dear. Objects known as relics. Oh! Over thousands of centuries, relics became lost to our history, completely unknown to man. Oh boy. Objects. You of do not know. This is bad. But I've lived for so long. Oh dear. And in order to create new ones, sacrifices must be made. The goddess but I why Aaron? was not the matron history paints her as. Mm. Her powers came from an individual human soul Mia? that she cultivated into a realm. Mia. Her own daughter. Ooh. And she did it in this Oh. Room. So many things happening. So many things. <laughs> what? Come on, Aaron. Make it easy to control. Zach. Zach, You'll I can... Never bow to you. Someone, please. Come on. Come on. Do something. This relic will be fueled by destruction. Uh-oh. It will be more powerful than anyone can imagine. No, that's not good. Then you really can have your hands on a relic. I will break into her. And I will kill her slowly. Why do you want to kill and Irene? Come on, Zach, you need to not yeah, you need to stop. Oh, people need to do something. Come on. Please, Aaron. Yeah, you get need up. to be the man I remember. You need to stand up and fight. So are we saying that Irene when was when Mia's mother? Me from those wolves? When you saved Garth? When we Maybe. stopped Shad. This man. Shad. Wait, what? He is worse. Wait. He will take you and use you to kill more people. But Shad. Will kill that's in a different realm. What? Know. Oh boy. So much is happening and my mind is like, what is that? What? And run. <laughs> yeah, I come on, Aaron. Seriously. If I do anything, anything more, I will fade from this world. I will die if I save you. 
Why? Like, why are you so weak at the moment? Power-wise. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, 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 no. Come on, Zach. Don't be a bastard. Me right now. <laughs> Come on, Zach. Have at least a bit of humility left in you. Aaron, Aaron, say something. Aaron, slap him. Slap him in the Aaron. face to wake him up. Come on. What are you doing? Press it. Don't press it. Please do something. Anything. Please. I'm so confused. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Come on, Aaron. You gotta move. You have to move, Aaron. Oh, animation. Oh, God. No, come on. Wait. Oh, my God, Irene. No. No, 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 no. You're basically... Oh, God. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. You have to do something. You have to do something. You have to do something. Come on. Yes! Come on! Come on, you have to do something. <gasps> ah! Oh my god! Come on! Come on, Derek. Wait, don't sacrifice yourself though. No, 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 what are you doing? Oh shoot! Shoot, shoot! No, 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 oh my god. Where are you taking it? What? Oh my god, Derek! Oh my god. Holy crap. Why is everyone... Why is everyone... Like, what? No! <gasps> oh! Shoot. So Derek, Derek's dead. Oh my god, what? Oh, sh oh so much. Oh god. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have very conflicting emotions right now because on one hand, like, holy crap, D Derek's dead. And uh, that that's one death that I can't deny. But on the other hand, there is a long list of things that I kind of predicted and I am proud of myself. So now that I'm not trying to like keep up with what's happening in the episode, can, can, let's let's go through a list of things that I got right. Kind of, maybe, sort of. So the room Hollow was guarding was definitely the prototype room, but the celestial cannon was above it. So both of the theories that I was kind of saying with that one were correct in, in a sense. I had a few different theories about what the purpose of the flame was that uh, Dem spoke of. And I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but I know one of them was that maybe it could, like the flame could power the device. So whilst it wasn't just the one flame that powered the device. It was like the whole city of Zitar, I'm assuming. Yeah, that was, I guess, kind of correct. I know at one point when I was doing research for the Zyde Theory video that I was looking into the fact that uh, the flame picture and Irene's relic look similar, but I ended up discarding that and I really wish I didn't because that would have like wouldn't have been too far off. I'm pretty sure that there are other people with theories about the relics and the flame being connected though, so you know. From the sounds of it, Zyde was like a meteor or an asteroid or something, so big tick for that, woohoo! Kind of upset that it wasn't an alien race, uh, I was kind of leaning more towards that one, but meteor was the other thing that I mentioned, or was theorizing it could be rather. So from what Michael was saying though, like we, we know that that Mia sacrificed herself to test the prototype, right? But then Michael was saying that Irene took the flame and turned it into a relic. So are they are they saying that Mia was Irene's daughter, at least her daughter in this universe. And then based on what Michael was saying a couple episodes back, saying how, like to Hola, how many people did you let her kill here? Does that insinuate that Irene like sacrificed 
the people of Zitar to the prototype to power the cannon to stop Zai against their will or was it voluntary? I'm really starting to wonder whether Dem and Michael actually might be the same person. Either that or someone from Zitar. Because why else would he be so mad at Irene? I mean if he was Dem then it would make sense because Mia was his wife, right? So if Mia tested the prototype, turned into the flame and then Irene went and took that flame and turned it into a relic, would that be why Dem slash Michael is so mad at her because I don't know maybe he felt that she was responsible for Mia's death somehow or something I don't know I also reckon that ghost like the ghost that's possessing Kim uh, has some kind of connection to Zitar as well and of course I have many many more questions especially regarding those last few moments like why did all of the people that Michael was mind controlling suddenly just fall to the ground was that Michael's doing or was that the doing of the cannon I'm assuming they're just knocked out but uh yeah I don't know where the hell did Aaron disappear to like he just disappeared in the flash of gold light I'm assuming that has something to do with Irene the other thing was that Irene was mentioning a bunch of things that I think she was saying like that she and Aaron did together and then at one point she mentioned Shad. So that makes me wonder, is this the same Irene that exists in MCD? Or is this a completely different Irene and we're just saying that Shad also exists in this universe? And then she was also talking as if Eren had like reincarnated, had past lives or something. So I guess those two things would have to be connected somehow. And I want to know why Irene's powers aren't as strong at the moment. Because if you've seen MCD then you know that she can be pretty darn powerful. <laughs> we also got some background information on Eren's family which was interesting. But that last scene was very emotional. Oh my god. And it's gonna be even more emotional if Melissa and Aaron's mother, whose name escaped me, are actually dead. And yeah, because that means that Aaron is basically an orphan now. And that's not okay. <laughs> I just remembered that I saw something in the description when I started. It says, I tried to save everyone I could, but at the end of the day, they all perished. I was left alone. What world would I continue to live in? What world could I give? I tried my best and maybe that's all I could do. So with the context of the episode, I'm assuming that's Irene speaking, but about like what point in time? Is she talking about the people of Zita? Is she talking about all the recent events in the episodes that's been happening? I guess that we'll just have to hope that they explain it in future episodes. <laughs> Hey guys, so before Past Me wraps up and we hit the end screen, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to a YouTuber named Reem. So I'm giving this shout out for two reasons. First of all, Reem did some really lovely fan art of me. She drew me as a werewolf in the My Street universe and I thought it was really cute so I wanted to take the chance to say thank you to her. I'll put it up here so that you can have a look. And second of all, I wanted to let you know that she's recently started a YouTube channel of her own. She gave me a shout out in one of her recent videos and I wanted to do the same for her. So if you have the time, go check her out. She's a fellow AFMAL fan and she's planning to do a whole variety of videos. I'll put one of her videos on the end screen and I will put her channel in the description so you can go check her out. Okay, I'll go now. Back to past me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and a comment below with any thoughts or theories you have on the episode. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see my future videos and I will see you all next time. Bye!